Hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar, Acing Guest Verification for Your Short-Term Rentals, a webinar on how to screen guests before they arrive and to keep the bad apples away. My name is Shelley Grumain. I'm the Business Development Manager here at Guesty, and joining us today is Andrew Bate, CEO of Safely. So the agenda today is first, we're going to go over a brief overview of Guesty. Then we're going to talk about what home, homeowners are afraid of and then how can we reduce those anxieties. Fourth, we're going to say talk about how insurance works. And then we're going to talk about what we've learned, why safely, and of course, Q&A to answer all of your fabulous questions. So let's start with a little bit about Guesty. So today, property managers at any given moment have a lot to balance, and Guesty is increasingly aware of all those pain points. Between communicating with incoming or prospective guests, managing homeowners, you know, owning staff, having teams, growing and maintaining property inventories, distributing rentals across multiple booking platforms, branding, marketing, you know, this list goes on. And it's safe to say that you guys as property managers have so much on your plate. We realize that while trying to balance operations and all of the extra special touches that are unique to your brand, you somehow have to leave time to think about how to grow your business and focus on other aspects that will get you to those next levels. So this is why Guesty created an end-to-end -end solution, one platform which specializes in making your operations seamless and efficient. You know, a little fun story about Guesty is that our founders were actually property managers themselves. And in their early days, uh, you know, what actually led to the birth of Guesty was being a property management company. Through being a property management company, they realized that they were actually better at software than cleaning apartments. And they developed a solution that focused on automation and simplifying the operational process. Guesty is a really robust software, and we have created so many features that cover every aspect of your business. For example, we have a unified inbox that centralizes all guest communication in one place, whether you're answering guests from Airbnb, booking.com, email, SMS, you have one single place for communication so that you can ensure uh, fast response times that ends up leading to more conversions and, of course, leads to get better guest experience. We have a mobile app management tool so that you can manage your staff on the go or your staff can manage their day-to-day -day operations on their go. And if you're expanding into new countries, you can still have close touch points with your teams and on the ground staff and your staff can be um, connected to the dashboard wherever they are. We have a really robust reporting feature so that you can take a deep dive into your operations and, you know, again, get that data so you can make data-driven decisions. A 24-7 guest communication service, which is a service where all of your guest communication can be covered from moment of first inquiry to the moment that the guest checks out. And using our team of well-trained experts can really save you guys time and have you give you the ability to focus on business development, on growing that, uh, on growing your properties, on focusing on marketing, right, and getting down into those important aspects of your business. So you name it, we've got it. We have a really robust software that fits all of your needs. So Guesty has come a long way. So from two brothers who were looking to monetize their empty apartments while they were traveling to today where we're 250 employees, offices in five locations worldwide and more to come, woohoo, uh, serving property managers across 70 countries and currently available in six languages. You know, as property managers, you guys face so many risks, such as fraud, theft, and this is why we brought our friends from Safely here today to talk to you guys about how to manage those risks so that you can always come out on top and still be able to focus on growing your businesses. So without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Andrew, um, and he's going to take it from here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Shelley. Um, so we founded Safely to answer a homeowner's first two questions. Who's staying in my house and what happens when something goes wrong? We just saw too many homeowners leaving a beautiful home empty for, I don't know, 48 weeks each year. This makes sense because having internet strangers sleep in your bed is, is really weird. But as we studied it further, we learned that these reluctant renters will 
let strangers stay in their home, just strangers they trust. So this began our journey to build safely. And really interestingly, last year we participated in the MetLife Techstars Digital Accelerator. And, and we got to work with one of the insurance companies, most trusted companies, MetLife, to apply all of the best practices for insurance and data science so we can bring this to short-term home rentals and to your own business. And we got a great team. Uh, you can meet them in time, hopefully at Guest Eval or, or at other conferences, but we have experience in vacation rental management, finance, insurance, and travel distribution. But let's get to it. Um, you know, it's so frustrating. You're getting reservations and everyone looks so perfect in their online profile. Of course, we'd love to host these guests, but sometimes we get this, and when we open the door to prepare for the next guest, we see this. So what can you do? Well, not a lot, because it's really scary to ask the homeowner to pay. They get really mad at you because it's your fault somehow, and they think you're getting rich from that big, big commission that you take. And then you go after the guest. Of course, they cause the damage. But when you go after them, they leave a bad review, which costs more than the damage actually cost. And you'll often lose a chargeback if you try to charge his or her credit card. So we began studying the bad guests. And there is definitely a profile of guests that you don't want. In fact, we found that 14% of guests cause 70% of the bad states. It's like the 80-20 rule for bad guests. And our data scientists are getting better and better at predicting the outcome of each state. But you can't tell just by looking at them, you need to go deeper. And even if a bad guest hasn't affected you yet, it will. Um, we're all part of the, one of the industry's fastest growing industries or one of our time's fastest growing industries. $195 billion of global rentals, 800 million nights. Let's, let's take a look at the financial services industry to better understand fraud and bad guests. We know how this plays out, we've seen it before. So in the 1980s for the financial industry, it was just like vacation rentals are for us today. There was fraud, but it was unsophisticated, unorganized and, and random. You might get a bad check or a stolen credit card, but the damage was contained. In the 90s, more sophisticated criminal groups emerged. Fraudsters got closer to the source of money you, through debit cards and ATMs. Well, we're in a new century, and in this century, financial fraud is global. Organized crime rings are sophisticated and sometimes nationalized. They attack all of our financial products, even our Facebook accounts, frequent flyer miles, and our elections. But the industry created fraud models and collaborated to create industry-wide defenses. And at Safely, we're your industry-wide defense, and we're working to make the next few decades less painful and more profitable for you. So how did we learn about bad guests? Well, just like at Guesty, all they do is provide the right technology solutions so you're more effective. All we do is make your stay safer. First, we provide primary commercial insurance for each rental. No more damage deposits, the guest pays to have up to a million dollars backing his or her reservation. Then we verify that that guest is trustworthy and assign a risk score so you can shift um, your focus to the riskiest guest and let the good guest get right through and have a great stay. Here's how it works. The process is simple because we're a guestie partner. The reservation can take place on any booking site or your own website. You set a fee for the guest to pay and you get rid of that damage deposit. Then all the reservation data that's necessary for verifying the guest and ensuring the stay flows straight through Guesty to us at Safely. And it flows right into your Safely account. First, we verify your guest. Depending on your risk tolerance, we can verify their identity check for global sanctions like money laundering and terrorist watch list, check for felonies in the United States, and definitely sex offender lists. More importantly, we keep a database of bad guests, those who should never rent again 
in your homes or any home without the right supervision. Because this process is compliant with the GDPR, the US Fair Housing Act, and the US Fair Credit Reporting Act, plus because each country has different types of data, we can't complete all these checks on guests from all country, but we do the best we can uh, within these constraints. Next, we just assigned the safely risk score. I'm gonna cover that in more detail in just a second. Then every single reservation is insured. And we work with some of the world's best underwriters and have a unique policy written specifically for short-term home rentals. Most importantly, the guest pays a trust and safety fee instead of a damage deposit. So you can earn ancillary revenue as well. We cover from $0 up to a million dollars. And most importantly, the policy is written to cover everyone's liability, the homeowners, yours as the property managers and the guests and it's for damages to the home structure its contents and for bodily injury and because three parties are insured what would normally could be considered to be intentional damage like bringing a pet into your home or having 80 friends in a two-bedroom apartment we're able to cover that because you certainly didn't intentionally allow this which makes it an insurable event and then filing a claim is really easy. You click on the reservation in our portal and it's already pre-populated with the reservation information. You just tell us what happened, submit receipts and photos, and usually within 14 days, the claim is paid. But even more valuable than that claim being paid is this is where we get our data so we can help prevent bad stays in the future. And so we did get to learn a lot about the guests. Our data scientists studied the guests the booking characteristics, and the results of over 240,000 rental nights. And we look at about 200 or more demographic and marketing databases to learn more about the guest. We can learn about their address history, their asset ownership, education and business licenses, and then criminal and financial trouble. Then we can go even deeper and learn more about people the guest is associated with. You know, those who have lived in their home, relatives and known associates. Now, we can't turn down a guest because he or she has bad friends, but we can pay a little bit closer attention to those reservations that are higher risk. And here's our risk score along a scale. You don't have to get too deep into the data, but when you look at our safely risk score, the worst guests on the left had an insurance claim that we consider to be negligent over 12% of the time. On average, it's under 3%. We can see that the riskiest 14% of guests are causing 70% of the bad stays. Now, these guests still generate revenue for you, but maybe they should pay a damage deposit as well. And maybe they should stop by to see you to pick up the key if that's possible. And you might even wanna coincidentally change the furnace filter or bring a fresh batch of cookies during their stay. But just as important, as knowing who the bad guests are, actually is knowing who your good guests are. Because these guests deserve a friction-free, trusting and loving stay. No reason to make these guests pay a damage deposit or do anything extra. Give them the lock code, bring them a drink and they're gonna be just fine. Now, when we look at those bad stays, we identified stays that are negligent. And I'll talk about that more in a little bit, but of those negligent stays, the average stay was three nights. Whereas in general, our average stay is just under five nights across our whole system. And like I said, in general, only three out of a hundred reservations are likely to have damage, just under 3%. And we, we found like you would think that all of these, um, these bad stays, these negligent stays would happen during a holiday. But in fact, most of them, 78, 78.1% of all the negligent damage happened outside of the US federal holiday period. And by the way, we're live in the United States right now. Um, Western Europe comes really soon. Uh, we found that those guests who passed the verification, you know, where we run the criminal check on them, who cares what the results were, it lowered the odds of damage by 25% just by having them go through that process. And then we found in terms of advanced booking, for every day that they booked extra in advance, up to a point, it lowered the odds or the 
potential for damage by 2%. And then also we found, you know, this three night stay um, on average, if they stay just one more night, if it became a four night stay, that it lowered the odds of a damage, damage happening during the stay by 40%. Um, and here's a little bit about what we learned about those guests who are causing negligent stays. Now, each one of these characteristics is unique and we can't just say someone with that characteristic is bad, but in aggregate, we found a few trends. And number one was the age of the applicant. Younger people are causing more bad stays. But here's some that are surprising. There was evidence that they attended college versus didn't co attend college. And this was normalized based on you know, just the fact that people who travel likely have a higher disposable income. People with a higher disposable income likely went to college. But we normalized for that, and there's still an above average chance that they attended college. And their relatives and they own a home that's above the median value in their neighborhood. So they have a nicer home. Um, this emerging identities characteristic, what that means is either they're young or it's a fraudulent identity. You know, there's not a lot of history of that person and or they could be new to the area. Uh, we also saw that they likely owned their property. Not only was it a nicer home in their neighborhood, they're much more likely to own a home and then another characteristics in that neighborhood, they had a higher than average murder index in their home's neighborhood, not the home they're renting, but their primary homes. And then another characteristic that bubbled to the top is that you know, they were looking for a new home, maybe because of that murder index, but they're looking for a new home and applying for more mortgages, you know, more than average for a typical person. And so let's talk about what the damages were because you're like, well, you know, people make mistakes. So of course things happen, but, but then there are those really bad states. So we characterized every single insurance claim we had um, from level one to being an accident. You know, we're clumsy, we break stuff, we drop wine, it happens. All the way up to level five, massive party, destroyed the hot tub, which is not really possible unless you're having a party. And then we have the, the claims in the middle, two, three, and four, and we call those our airport claims. It's where people's brains kind of turn off when they're in your home or when they're in an airport, and they just do silly things. It's not negligent, but it's also not, it's not, you know, it's not intentional. It's just careless, uh, but more than careless, but we can't blame them for it. And, and you can see those negligent claims, they get to be expensive. On average, over $3,000, you can see to the left there. And then the rest of the claims, you know, around $1,000 to $1,200. And let me tell you what those are. Uh, first of all, they take place in the kitchen, the bedroom, and bathroom. And that makes sense. That's where people are spending most of their time. Second, there are three things that are not safe. Your carpets are not safe, your sheets, towels, and your doors are never safe. So when we looked at the damage, the carpets, I mean, disproportionately are getting destroyed. Um, doors, somehow they're in the way. And then linen, sheets and towels, people do weird things. Let me tell you about a few of those. Uh, just some random stories, and I know you have your own because this is, this is a crazy world. 3% of reservations have a claim, but about a third of those are negligent. And here's one, the guest fell on the ice in the driveway. They heard a loud pop and she was immobilized for the rest of her vacation, later diagnosed with fully uh, ruptured quadriceps tendon, requiring surgery and physical therapy. What we don't mention here is her friend came to get her and her friend slipped too. And so double, double injury here. Um, this one's pretty awful. We don't know the cause, but there's a huge hole in the wall, blood stains all over the carpets, trash everywhere, several cases of empty alcohol. It took the cleaning crew all day to clean up. A few walls needed to be repainted. Um, this is a party, $7,900, just your average run of the mill party, but broken mirrors, rugs, 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 and extra cleaning, chip uh, kitchen counter, uh, stolen Sonos sound equipment. Um, of course, I'm sure you've all had this one. Guests had five large unauthorized pets in the home, mattress, sofa, patio furniture, had to be steam cleaned to get urine stains off. Everything was covered in pet hair and urine stains. The blinds were also damaged. Um, 
Even worse, the guest left an IV bag in one of the closets requiring use of a biohazard procedure to clean up, of course. The hardwood floors were extra sticky, two crystal candle holders were broken, glass was found in the carpet, the dresser in the master bedroom was scratched. Uh, rooftop skier, uh, this one's really weird, guests climbed out the window to ski down the roof during a party and disconnected the main power lines to the house. Um, this caused a huge surge in that house blowing out lights and breakers. Somehow this wasn't a bodily injury claim, um, but there should have been a lot more that happened there. So anyway, that's what we do at Safely. Again, our entire mission is to help, um, you know, help your homeowners feel comfortable with renting for the first time online. Uh, we found it Safely because we saw a trust-shaped gap in the sharing economy that just needed to be filled. We saw sophisticated homeowners leave a second home empty for 48 weeks of the year because they didn't want the internet strangers sleeping in their bed, using their dishes, and this makes complete sense to us. And so um, we created new products with some of the world's best insurance carriers and background check providers. We found the best new data and created our own data to help all of us run a safer and more profitable business. And in general, our, our customers are happy. Um, property managers who use safely, they're able to recruit and retain five to 10% more homes. It's those people who you're talking to who are on the fence and you know, I'll list if the conditions are right and you're able to say, look, every guest is coming with a million dollars of primary commercial insurance and they're going through a vetting process. Um, our partners charge a trust and safety fee. This pays for the coverage but also can increase rental margins with some of our partners up to 10 to 15%, and it eliminates the whole operational mess of guest deposits and then credit card clawbacks. Um, and then we just avoid the time and distractions of dealing with bad guests. It's really great to have a new pool of money that just pays for things, and to also be able to tell your homeowners that, look, every guest went through this screening, we, we followed best practices, and sometimes things go wrong, but at least we're able to pay for it anyway. And so setup is quick. You know, we integrated with Guesty. We're a partner. So, you know, we talk about the commercial terms and then you add your properties. You send us the API key and we'll help you do all that. And then every single reservation ends up being uh, being covered. Every guest ends up going through the verification process once, once this is set up. So thank you, Shelley. I'll let you take it from here. Thanks, Andrew. Um, so with Safely having recently joined the Guesty Marketplace, I just want to briefly note on what that means. So for those of you who are joining us today that are less familiar with Guesty, and even those who utilize us today, uh, not only do we, do we enable direct integrations with major OTAs, but our platform also features a marketplace in which our customers can directly connect to Guesty approved and vetted third party tech solutions across several verticals. In the case of Safely's integration with Guesty, as a Guesty user, all of your properties and reservations will be synced and appear in Safely's dashboard so you can easily verify your guests purchased insurance for your home so that all of your reservations are insured and make sure that you're managing your risk, again, with one central uh, software, which is Guesty. So, you know, the marketplace today currently serves clients in 70 countries, and you can definitely expect to see additions in the near future that will serve specific countries and their needs. Um, and yeah, so that's it for the webinar. Now we'll move to questions. Um, I'll give everybody a couple of minutes. I think we were all really engaged with uh, Andrew there. Um, so if you guys want to send in some questions, we'll just take one or two minutes. Awesome. We got a lot of questions in the last minute. So perfect. Let's let's get started. So this first question is actually for Safely and it's from Stefano. So I'm so sorry if I didn't say that name correctly. Um, so the question here is, can a guest be rejected? And if so, what happens then with the booking? Yeah, absolutely. So a guest can be rejected. What we do is we ask that that we help you with that. Uh, in the United States, there's a process. We send the guest a note saying um, that complies with the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and it says here's exactly why you were turned down. And if the guest wants to dispute, we we give them all the information they need to, and we help them with that dispute. If they say that's not me on the sex offender list, that's not me that committed that felony, we help them go through that process, and and we make sure that that 
it's completely legal and follows all of the all the processes we need. Uh, if we do turn the guest down, um, we have no problems working. Uh, I know sometimes the booking sites are a little punitive if you have um, if you you cancel reservations too too often, but we have really good data here. We have data saying this is a guest who trashed a house before. This is a guest who committed a felony, or this is a guest um, who is on the sex offender list. I, and, and when that happens, we have no problems getting that, that reservation canceled with no penalty to you through the booking sites. Awesome, thanks, Andrew. Um, okay, so the next question here is for um, is from Adriana, and it is, what does the integration process with Safely uh, involve for guestie users? So if you're a guestie user, then it's actually very easy to integrate with Safely. First, uh, I advise you to visit the marketplace, and to do so, you can go to account where you'll see integrations and that will take you directly to the marketplace. And there you can find uh, Safely's listing. Click on the listing where you'll find actually the API key, which is what you need to paste into Safely's dashboard. And once you paste that, you're in instantly integrated. So that way Safely can start pooling your reservations, start pooling your listings, and that, and you can, again, start making sure that you're insuring those homes and so that no reservation um, creates an, an, an substantial risk for you guys. Um, okay, so the next question here is from Rod Friedman. Um, if uh, a guest makes a reservation on Guesty's website and only provides their name and email, this name and email can be fake, so how can you verify his identity? And Andrew, this one's for you. You he got it. You got it. Yeah. And, and you're hundred percent right. So what happens is, you know, we don't we can't control that user experience on every single booking site that exists. There are more and more every day. And so what happens is we get that information um, and then we'll send off an email to the guest or an SMS asking them to complete what we call the virtual check-in. That, that sent out immediately after that booking is confirmed. And that's where we show a picture of your house, put the reservation details so they know this is a legitimate request. And then we ask for any missing information and we ask them to go through that identity verification. You know, that identity verification can be done just using their name, address, and date of birth to match data that's publicly available in maybe their credit header or other, other databases. Or we can go even deeper and ask them to, to submit a copy of their driver's license or their, their government identification if, if that's important. Not as good of a user experience, but it's more accurate. But either way, we verify their identity uh, by asking for any of that missing information, name, address, and date of birth. And then, um, and then they complete that you know, on our own site in a secure way. Great. Um, the next question here is also for you, Andrew, uh, from Amanda. How is this different from what Airbnb already offers? Yeah, absolutely. So Airbnb does a good job of you, you have reviews and you can see that. Now, one of the benefits of using Guesty is that you can list on every single site and you're not you're not attached to Airbnb. You can get your own organic traffic coming to your own site. So we're offering a holistic you solution both for the verifications and for the insurance across all of your reservations, whether you paid a 16% commission to the booking site or not. Uh, our insurance policy is primary. And from what we hear from our customers, it takes four or five minutes to submit a claim. There are not 30 touch points. Um, there, you don't have to go after the guest to collect for damage. You know, if, if, if there's theft, you know, we'll, we'll do what we can and we'll work with the police to help recover it. But other than that, like your responsibility is done pretty much when you file the insurance claim. We might need additional information, but you're pretty much done. And from what I hear from the booking sites, you know, this is not the case. And, and if you have assets to protect, you need a primary commercial insurance where you're the named insured. More insurance is never a bad thing, right, Andrew? <laughs> That's uh, correct. You never want to, you know, covering yourself is always, always better than nothing. Um, okay, so the next question here is a question for Guesty, um, and it's from Elise. So can any Guesty user use Safely on their account? And the answer to that is absolutely. 
you know, all of our guest users have access to the marketplace and like all of our marketplace partners, uh, we suggest that you go to each of the companies that you're interested in for this case safely, you know, talk to them, uh, have, you know, go through a demo if necessary or not, um, find out every, every aspect of what's, what the solution they're offering is. And then once you're ready to connect, you know, again, go into the marketplace, copy that API key uh, and paste it into the designated area on uh, either Safely's dashboard or any marketplace partners dashboard. And then you're instantly connected and can enjoy the benefits of that company while still, you know, again, having it all um, centralized in one place, which is Guesty. Um, okay, next question here uh, is from Chloe. It's a great question. Uh, can I specify the types of guests, uh, for example, felony records that I do not want to accept? Andrew, definitely for you here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're we're doing two things. We're um, we're running the risk score. So that's just a you know a score along a continuum. We help you understand if this is in the top 90th percentile of risk or the bottom 10th percentile of risk. Um, and then, you know, we, we do let you know in our portal, you know, and, and of course through notification, you know, if they did, if they did fail because we found one of those things. Now it's up to you if you want to turn them down or not. And, and so all we ask is you hit a little button and it notifies us, send us a note, and then we'll work with you to turn down that guest. Again, we want to make sure it's completely legal, but yes, you, you may turn down um, you may turn down felons, you may turn down sex offenders, they're not a member of a protected class. You can turn down bad guests as well. Um, but what you can't do is start to you know, use your gut feeling and think that you don't like how someone looks and then turn them down. So it has to be for a, uh, you know, for a legitimate legal reason, which, which of course we offer. Um. We've gotten a couple of questions. I'm going to combine some of these questions, and it mainly is um, asking Andrew if if Safely is active outside of the U.S. So uh, we've gotten, are you available in the U.K.? Are you available in the U.A.E.? So it'd be great to hear where Safely is active today. <laughs> yes, we, we are so excited to launch in Western Europe. It was supposed to happen before today. Uh, we have the underwriter. We have everything lined up. We're just going through the licensing right now. Um, it's not there yet uh, in Western Europe. Uh, UK and then uh, Netherlands, Germany, France, Spain, Portugal are, are all coming next. Uh, UAE is a little bit farther down the path, but I'm really hoping by early next year, we'll be expanding beyond Western Europe. We're excited for that We want to move too. as fast as possible. We're trying. This is yeah. a really regulated uh, world and it does not move quickly. Our claims do, but the licensing does not. Definitely understand that. And and we've been talking about that for a while too. You know, we're, we have mm -hmm. lots of clients over there in Europe. And, and again, part of the marketplace is to make sure that we're bringing relevant partners um, from every location so that all of you can tap into these amazing solutions. So absolutely there. Um, okay, so the next question here is from um, Daniel, okay, and the question here is, does Guesty play a role in the actual verification process? So this is a great question. So first of all, today, um, you know, again, Safely is pooling the reservation information from Guesty. So in this case, uh, that guest information, if you're updating it as you as you retrieve it, is playing a role in the verification um, process on Safely's end. However, something that's coming out very soon, if not already out for some of you, is our check-in form, which is where you guys can ask these verifying questions before the guest uh, checks in at the moment of booking confirmation you know, have that information come into the reservation and then that can also play a process in Safely's verification as well. So that's double verification there. So, um, you know, again, what this integration does allow is for you guys to have those reservations automatically pooled. And if you're updating that information, then you're helping Safely um, with that verification process as well. Um, okay. 
next question here is from uh, Michael. Um, okay, it, which is, do you have to insure every reservation? Right, so it, it, yes and no. Um, so we allow you to select which homes are going to be insured. And so sometimes it just isn't right for uh, a home to include the insurance. Maybe you're in a very price sensitive market and you can't add the trust and safety fee to the reservation, or maybe your homeowner doesn't want it or you know whatever the reason is. Or you know, based on that geographic reason, maybe some of your homes are in the United States and some are in the UK and you can't, we can't help you with the UK. So absolutely, you can choose which homes include safely services but but we do ask that when you sign up a home all reservations all commercial reservations are included you know we had a problem you can imagine mardi gras uh, great deal to ensure those reservations but then when you don't ensure the whole rest of the year we end up with a lot of sick sick vacation rental stays and and so we do ask to keep our prices low and to create just an even playing ground for everyone that um, when a home signed up the commercial reservations are included, and then you can take the home out of the program, no problems. But um, but when it's in the program, all the reservations are included. We also worry about you um, systematically, or not, or, or kind of choosing which guests to verify, because sometimes if you're not verifying every single guest, and you don't have automatic rules like all guests in this house get verified, whereas all guests in this house don't. But if it's based on your feeling, you know. People could say, including the, the regulators, they could say that actually the fact that you're running a background check on selected guests is in itself discrimination. And so we try to avoid that too. Either you come in, you're staying in someone's private home, you have to go through the verification or not. Definitely. Okay, so we'll do two more questions here. Um, this question is from Mario, and the question here, uh, not necessarily about insurance, but does Guesty also provide a personal website slash domain for the property? And the answer is yes, we do have a website uh, feature where you can create your own customized website to start you know, boosting your direct reservations. With Safely, you can make sure that those ver those reservations are verified and insured. So, you know, again, you're covered there and, and some of the, th the aspects that the channels bring you with that co uh, coverage can be applied with Safely on your own direct reservations. Um, and in regards to domain, uh, you can use your own domain or you can use a domain that Guesty provides. It's, you know, whatever your company names is at guestybooking.com, or if you own your own domain, of course, you can input that as well. And then you can, you know, really start boosting your direct reservation strategy um, and marketing strategy at a whole. Um, okay, so last question here. Um, and this one's from Koi's. So sorry if I didn't say that correctly. Uh, okay, and this is for Safely. Can we customize the information we ask for? Are they able to load IDs and documents and use a platform and that we manually verify? How does it work with instant bookings? How quickly can re records be accessed in the UK? Ooh, so this one's about the UK, but I think it's more about asking, you know, about IDs, documents, using the platform, et cetera. Right, right. And, and you, because it's so hard to integrate with every single one of the booking sites, that user experience is going to be going to be different. I mean, that's why we're using Guesty here. All of us are because you don't have to integrate and change the user experience on every single booking site that exists in the world. So we try to move that that verification experience to the, um, you know, away from the booking site and onto our, our system. It's more secure. We can ask the right questions. And so so that does happen after the reservation is confirmed. We ask that you, if it's important to you, you add um, in your terms of service, your rental rules that, um, you know, you reserve the right to cancel a reservation if we find anything, um, anything bad. That said, in the UK, what's considered permissible use to learn about um, someone's criminal history is completely different than in the United States. Whereas pretty much uh, the, 
the guest has to be watching children, managing a lot of um, financial assets, and some some really really um, you know sensitive. They have to be involved in some sort of sensitive transaction. And right now, a vacation home rental, staying in someone's private home when it's empty or when someone else is in the house, isn't considered permissible use yet to pull the criminal information from the UK. And so it's a little bit different. So we're doing more on the identity verification in the UK. We're doing more on the you know, reservation characteristics. How are they booking, you know, length of stay, advanced booking type of home they're staying in uh, and, and using other non-personally identifiable and non-criminal data sources to create the risk score there. Um, but, but unless you were to connect with us through an API, we, we really can't you support your identity verification on your platform, you know, that would go through the guestie platform, you know, we get the information and then we send the note to the guest and have them go through our process, but I'd happy to work with you to make sure that that process fits, fits your needs perfectly. Awesome, okay, so I know I said that was the last question, but we got one question from a friendly face, so I have to answer it. Yes, this one's from you. Uh, and the question is for you, Andrew, and it's, uh, and it's, a, it's saying, it's asking, sorry, how about verifying only reservations coming from specific channels? Right, and, and that, that we hear a lot. You know, it, um, we mentioned how Airbnb does a, you know, they do some um, document verification, you know, for some of the guests, and you can set your, your um, conditions to only accept rentals from someone who's been through a verification process. And so, so yeah, we, we can suppress, uh, we can suppress the verification from certain channels and, um, and we're happy to do that. And uh, it's, it's no problem. And the reason we're able to do that, even though I know I just said, wait a minute, you can't, uh, you have to either verify all of your people or none of your people, ensure all of your people or none of the none of the reservations but the reason is we just need to show that there's a logical rule in place that took place before we even knew that that guest existed so that it doesn't look like discrimination or adverse selection does that make sense definitely does um okay great so first of all i would really like to thank uh andrew from safely for joining us today and giving an amazing presentation on how we can reduce risk um and you know screen our guests uh properly and making sure that you know we're not risking our own property so again andrew thank you so much for that um, if you have any further questions for Andrew, you can see his email down here, andrew at safely.ai, um, and he'll be happy to answer that. I want to thank you all for joining us as well. It was a pleasure to have you here today, and stay tuned for our next webinar. Have a great rest of your day, evening, night, wherever you are, and see you next time.